It was a joyous atmosphere at the Ptolemy Reed Rehabilitation Center in Carmichael Street, Georgetown, on Friday, as staff gathered to formally conclude a week-long capacity building workshop, which was geared at advancing the creation of upper extremity prosthetics. The workshop, which was facilitated through a collaboration with Prosthetica, a California-based nonprofit organization through funding from PAHO WHO Guyana, officially began in 2018 with a lower limb prosthetic workshop and continued in 2019 with a lower limb and spinal orthotis workshop. However, the challenges put forward by the COVID-19 pandemic made it impossible for the workshop to continue in 2020 and 2021. Nevertheless, over the past five days, the international team was able to host a rigorous five-day workshop which saw the staff of J. Simmons Orthotic and Prosthetic Appliance Workshop and local occupational therapists and physiotherapists benefiting from training on the use and fabrication of mechanical prosthetics for arm amputees. Through this exercise, six patients were able to receive new mechanical prosthetics free of cost. Local history was also created since the staff were also able to fabricate and use the country's first myoelectric arm. According to Colin Charles, a senior prosthetic technician, this new device represents a significant step for Guyana. I've done one myoelectric hand, which is the first of its kind that has been introduced to the workshop and into Guyana. This is something that we really, really... Um, love because it's helped the person to be more functional and it's more easy to um, person to operate. A myoelectric control prosthetics is an externally powered artificial limb that is controlled with electrical signals generated naturally by one's own muscles. Hand, wrist and elbow myoelectric components are available. A myoelectric arm is operated when electrodes pick up muscle impulses from the residual limb. These muscle impulses or signals are then translated into electrical signal that are sent to the electric hand to open or close it. A battery in the prosthetics provide the power. It took the team five days to create this advanced extremity prosthetic. A myoelectric hand, because of the technology that is attached to it, um, it takes at least about five days, but that with a team effort, of all the workshop staff to put together. Because if you have one person should work on something like that, a myoelectric hand, it can take more than, more than the four or five days, and it takes you about two weeks. While this is the first device to be built in the country, it is not expected to be the last. The myoelectric hands have certain um, small electrolytes and testers and so on, which the center does not have currently. So those are things that we have to get into the department before we can actually starting or thinking of billing those myelectric hands. Meanwhile, it was a moment of gratitude for Cranston Andrews, the beneficiary of one of the mechanical prosthetic arms. I'm grateful for it because first of all it's free and the second of all the team was really generous and they, they put in the works. I could have seen it, I could have feel it and I feel grateful to, to have this opportunity. The Reputation Center is also now the first local organization to acquire a PPAM-8, making Guyana one of the only two countries in South America to be equipped with one. The PPAM is a device designed for partial weight bearing in post-amputation rehabilitation. It is used to aid the reduction of residual limb oedema, prepare the residual limb for wearing of prosthetics, and allow the re-education of postural reactions, balance, and gait. These monumental achievements come on the heels of the center's 55th anniversary. The center, which has been in existence since January 19, 1967, continues to offer a comprehensive range of rehabilitation services for persons with disabilities. For the HGP Nightly News, Kendall Richmond.